Oh, hello there. I heard that you wanted to start creating, but you don't know where to start. Knowing you, you probably are looking at your maker pen like... Well, don't you worry, you newbie, because I am going to teach you everything to how to look at, where to look at, and why to look at in your Maker Pen UI. Hi, welcome to the void, and this may be a very funny place, and I agree. Now, see, when we're talking about the UI and the menu to your Maker Pen, it's a little intimidating at first, I can't lie. And you got a few things here. It will be defaultly uh, when you open it at your tools menu, and you're instantly greeted with a lot of things. We will be discussing majority of everything here. And then you got your palette. This is where your shapes, swatches, props, inventions, circuits are. And you can see very clearly that this is where you just, you know, spawn in funny props and stuff. And that might be where you start. Uh, or you might be just creating some cubes, spears, whatever. You gotta practice a little bit with that. And then you got your config menu, which is gonna be linked to this configure tool that we will get on later about. Then you got your logging menu for circuits. Uh, this is just for like finding errors mainly uh, within your circuits. And it will it it can be very helpful. And then you got your this room, which is just just brings you to the the watch menu and to your room. That's really it. Here's a cool feature. Uh, you see that little arrow down here? Yeah, you can pop out the menu, so you can have your palette and you can move it around. You can change the size. You can make it smaller. You can make it bigger. And you can close out of it if you don't like it. You got your in here, so you keep it there. Locks it in place and rotation. So yeah. And then you can have like all of the menus here uh, into this uh, mode, right? And this is a very efficient way of just like you can be building something here, right? And you want to quickly like switch to a different tool, right? To continue on. That's just an example. So, yeah. It can be very good. I recommend uh, messing around with this so you can get like a quick like. Instead of like just going for your menu all slow like this. You know, you could you could do you can you can do things a lot faster if you um if you just place the pallets. Now, I will go over the tools first because this is the very first thing you see on the maker pen. First thing is create. I think we all know what this is, and this is the setting you'll default to anyway. So, what is create? Whatever object is here, so like shapes, props. Or maybe your inventions, like, yeah, anything here, a little house. Your circuits components, and, yeah, I said and, and the and popped up, isn't that funny? Everything around this, yeah. So, you, you see, you get it, right? Whatever whatever you have selected that you can spawn in, it'll, it'll spawn it in when you pull the trigger. Tube, boom quite simple with the create tool you got a few create tool settings that will pop up uh, let's quickly describe these this is uh, the very first thing you see the it, I said it I, as a object default and I recommend this too basically what this means is uh, if you have this off this changes uh, when you create an object if it's grabbable or not by spawn so if I turn it off if I spawn like a beam cannon we can't grab it 
but if I were to change it to object default, I'd be able to grab it, right? But whenever I use shapes in particular, right, I create like a shape like this, I can't grab the shape. This is why I use it personally, because when I'm using these, I don't want people to grab it usually. If I really, I, I, if I wanted that, then you can specify it later. And lastly, the on the option just allows everything to be grabbed. So, you know, you can grab these two by default when you grab it, not grab it, uh, create it. But I personally recommend using object default. You do as your preference. You would be able to change it in your configure tool later on. Next, we have our create shape mode. If you have it on scale, you can like do this, right? You can stretch it. Uh, the option right below this, if you're wondering why I'm spawning a perfect square, we'll look at this setting, it's called uniform shapes. Now, see, now it's not a complete square. That's just a quick side note while I'm just doing this. But you got that option. If you have it on scale, it will do that. If you have it on move, this is how it creates. It creates just, just, just the smallest thing, right? Look at that. It's so cute. Amazing. Another thing to note about uniform shapes, when you're creating tubes, it creates one. It creates two points. An end point and a start point every time you pull the trigger and let go right this is very helpful to know because you what if you want to draw on it well this is how you you turn off uniform shapes and then you can go all everywhere you want to see I can go all about the tube settings but this is a whole new different monster and I would honestly we'll leave that for a different time so now we go to our select tool and this is our next tool in our options so basically what select is you got some objects here right uh you can click on one right and then you got a menu that pops up you can create an invention copy and eyedropper is that any colors materials or in the shape uh, that is available, you eyedropper it, all of them will go uh, and add to your swatch, which would look like this. Uh, the light's kind of blinding you. It would look like this, right? Another thing that you need to know about this, uh, a very helpful tool as well, you know how sometimes you have shapes that are not this uh, connected together, right? So like this potted plant. What if I wanted this potted plant to be a part of this entire little mesh right here, right? This little like entire props that we have here. They're all connected together, but this. So we just select this and then we select this. They're both selected now. Then we press options and then merge shapes. Now you're like, what if I wanted the pot by itself? All right, here we go. We're switching straight to the edit tool. This is a different tool that's on the top left. And this is how you continue creating objects when you let go of your maker pen and stop editing them. And you're confused how that works? Well, edit tool, point, click. Now you can edit any of the shapes in this entire object or, well, whatever you got here. <laughs> it's considered as an object. You select all these, right? And then you can hold down the trigger as like a little shortcut if you want and like select it all at once. And then press the options again, split shapes. Boom. And now the pot's by itself again. Next up, I would like to mention our connect tool, also known as the wire tool. Uh, in other words, and basically this is just for your circuits. You know, the way you wire circuits together is use the connect tool, boom. And now they should all connect together and create whatever you want to create with the circuits. This is a whole different thing that you got to learn. It's very complex, just like building itself. So, you know, it's not an easy like trip to learn how to use the maker pen, but it's really helpful to know that at least what you're doing here. 
Another helpful tool is configure. You got two menus for this. It automatically will go to your config menu if you don't have it already palleted, let's say, and when you select something. And you got all your properties on whatever object you have selected. So, yeah, as you can see right here, it's every single property down here. If I did the floor, it'll do that too. And this is another thing I want to mention just because it's very simple is like ever one the throw an item well we got physics modes on these right and you got your four options decoration environment physical and sticky decoration keeps it still and you can walk through it environment keeps it still but it's like it's part of the environment so it's collision physical and sticky are basically the same thing but physical you can throw it around and stuff and the th difference between sticky is it's the same thing but you can stick it onto things like yourself nom look at that put it in the floor it stays on the floor put it on your hand it stays on your hand that's how the configure tool works Next up, we got our moving settings. So, we got move, rotate, scale. I skipped transform because, well, transform is actually an all-in-one tool. It's a, it's a tool that you can just do all of these actions just, just with one. So, you know, very straightforward. Uh, as in, like, you know, that's how that works. You can change up what like you want for that as well. Uh, so you got all your settings there. Move, you move. Here's a different thing. Rotate, rotates. Yeah, you get the memo. Scale, scales. Yeah, you get the memo. You get the memo. One thing I need to mention is how snapping works. Snapping is uh two different things you got snapping settings and well it's probably defaultly off for you it's on the top right here and when it's off well it kind of just moves wildly like this right you know not really snapping the position it's just kind of like woo all right <laughs> ignore surface for now because that's a different thing that's that's all new thing let's go straight to grid Grid snapping. This is how you make it snap like this, and it snaps into position and stuff. And it's very, very good and helpful. You need to know this. Your snapping settings, you're going to be messing with these a lot as well, because you, depending on how big you make the position snap, that's how the it's going to snap into place. How many snaps there is? Rotation snap, same thing. The men are in degrees. If you turned it right now and it's 15 degrees, it will snap only in 15 degrees, right? What if I wanted to put at 90? Snaps in 90 degrees only. You see, uh, you see here. So that's all your that's all that's all that's all your snapping settings right there. Really, there's a lot of settings you can go through on the right the whole time. And you can play around with a lot of them, and they do a lot of different things. And well, some are more advanced than others. Here's the clone tool and flip tool. They're both in one. So when you highlight something and clone it, you get this plus right here. This just clones it normally. And you might be wondering, how do I flip? Let me get an object that looks a bit more obvious when it flips, right? Here's this tube, right? It's kind of just swerved like that. So, this clones normally, right? You see where I grabbed it to clone? How about we do this and be able to flip it? Boom. And now, the, the thing flips. Next up in the list is our recolor tool. Our recolor tool is where you can see the settings right here. This is how you get your colors and materials i want to make it yellow and i want to make the material uh shiny metal so it's a gold color right 
and the size this just is your texture size with the metal not, not the material that you select right so depending on how big or small this is it's just going to be how it reflects there so once you got an option boop Look at that, and now it's recolored to that. Next, we got our next we got our freeze tool. So if you did, if you don't want anyone to grab it, even yourself when you're holding the maker pen, this is a good way to like for like huge land masses like this floor. If I accidentally grab it, oh no, disaster happen. Well, here's the prevent disaster. You use the freeze tool. Objects frozen. Now you can't grab. Next up is your make invention. Want to make an invention? Boom. There's multiple settings on this. Create whatever you want. And yeah, these two cubes. I love this invention so much. Let's create it. Whoa. Look at that. I got my two cubes as an invention now. That's pretty cool. You can also access your inventions tab for this palette, you know. After our inventions, we got our Mementolate tool, which is pretty straightforward if you know what that means. You edit something like a cube, and this is very helpful to know, by the way. I Let's say I want this to be wider. You do that. That's how that tool works. Mementolate. Delete tool. Bop. I don't want it to exist anymore. Bop. I hate that. I hate this flower. Bop. And that's how that works. I hate whatever this thing is. Bop. One last thing for a very basic tip is when you're on your tool settings on the right here, uh, your general settings right here, there's a lot of very helpful settings you should mess around with. Uh, one in particular, if you are trying to just mess with, around with every setting and you're trying to you know, work everything out. Well, here is uh, how to do that. You just go to this general settings and then you just use show all settings. Now, all of these columns with every setting should be available for you and open and you can mess around with all of them at once. So you don't need to, you know, switch to one just to get that exact setting to pop up on your menu. Although my stuttering that entire video, that was everything I believe that you need to know when you just start and fresh with the UI, with the Maker Pen, and how to navigate the Maker Pen menus in order to create amazing stuff in this game. Now... Go on and do what you do best and have fun. Goodbye.